and welcome to the Fast Report Academy. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how sub reports work in Fast Report VCL. So let's look at this report. It's made of a list of customers with their orders. Most of the orders have several items, but there are some that have a few or just one. But nevertheless, all the orders are grouped by the customer, sorted by date, and there are total values for everything. A total for each order and a total for a customer. So, how is any of this done? If you open the report designer, you'll see that the main page only has a report title and a very bare bones data band alongside an empty footer. And the data band only has a memo displaying the customer's name and phone numbers. So, where's the rest of the elements, you could ask? Well, they're in the sub-reports. Not in a single sub-report, but in a couple of them. Of course, if we delete both of them, then the report becomes just a list of customers without any orders. Let's take a look at what these subreports have in them. Starting with subreport 2, in it we have a header band, a data band, and a footer. The header has labels for the data band, which is set to display a list of items from the items table. And the footer is displaying a total, specifically a sum, of these items. Now let's move a level higher. Our subreport 2 is displaying a list of items, and it lies on a data band. This data band displays orders. There's a header that displays the order number and the sale date. And the footer displays the total sales amount per current customer. It's been calculated by this little program, and let's not elaborate on this for now. So to summarize, we have a list of ordered items coming from the subreport 2, which is being used as a detail table to a list of orders, and in turn, this list of orders with items is being used for every customer in the list by putting the subreport 1 on the main data band. Notice that there is no filtering set up anywhere. This is a feature of subreports. They automatically filter the data according to the data band they're placed on. So, when the master band is displaying a certain customer, the subreports get the data filtered by that customer. And as we have two subreports, basically the same thing happens twice. And as an aside, if we would unwrap, so to say, the subreports, the report could look this way. Notice there's just one data band and all the other databands are replaced by group headers. There's also a property of subreports that's useful if you want to display more than one set of data. Subreports can be placed side by side. Here's an example of how this configuration could look like. And this is the example report from the demo application. The line in square brackets is a system variable that shows the index of the current line. It can be useful for debugging purposes. So, here we have two subreports on a band that repeats 20 times. And each subreport also have the index number that repeats a few times. Right now, the report looks like this, but let's modify it a little bit. The main data band repetition needs to be disabled, and the subreport bands will repeat for, let's say, 200 times. So, this is how two subreports side by side would look like with a lot of data. Notice that the second subreport's band is a bit wider, so the last pages of the report have just the bands from the second subreport. And this was today's lesson on Fast Report VCL. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments. And be sure to check out other videos on the channel, in which we demonstrate Fast Report VCL and our other products in detail. You can find all the playlists in the description.